Well, hello there, and welcome back to another more time video with our next PvP match in the upper lower division in the Battle of Brawl League Season 3. This time against Sneaky High Elf, another scam warband. Very sneaky high elf indeed. Um, again, we are some points up, about 100, a bit more than 100 points, 120, 130 points around that arc, both rank 3 warbands. And apparently, Z already lost an arm. I mean, that's not too bad for Skate Mall, see, because, uh, well, Dodge Dance, so Z will actually be quite uh, annoying to take down. But yeah, we're gonna play Skate against Skate We have extra objective, it's Rivals and Ruins, so mm, deployment, Global Quarters 1. Let's see what we can do. Let's ready up. Let's go. Everything else looks right. This is exhibition. Yes, it is. So let's do this. No voice chat this time, sadly, but well, that's fine. We just focus on the game then. I always like doing voice chat because there's always this quite uh, slow start in these matches until the fighting actually starts, especially in PvP. So it's like. Um, so what we get? We got Woodstone Rush. Uh, we might try and go for that if the opportunity arises. Obviously don't get to keep the Woodstone, but getting the Wolf's objective is an additional point and I will need every single point I can get because I want to get to the players. So I will have to ha get a high ranking in the lower division. Lower, uh, lower team. So where is CC? All the way up there. Uh, this is actually not that bad for me. I can take up position in these houses and get a high ground or I can have them fight him over here we both don't have Globadia yet so don't have to worry about that although Globadia would be lovely here if I had it but soon I think if I do if I get my next bonus objective in my PX PvE mission I will be rank 4 so I will be access to Globadia the question is if I'm gonna go for one right away or if I just get the um, upgrade on my warp guard and turn into hero that is the decision i have to make i think i will go for the warp guard though because it's much more powerful as a hero than a freshly built globadier is although globadier is always globadier is quite a powerful unit all right so he has a lot more initiative than i do with some of his dudes which means we're a bit spread but he has this massive chunk of so I'm guessing we're gonna be Bob Guts. They can move in a row, and then mine are gonna move last. Which is a bit annoying, but we will manage. We will manage. I do have a rank 5 Warp Guard now, which is pretty damn nice. Alright. Yeah, mine are gonna move last. Which isn't too bad. So that's just uh, what they're supposed to be doing. He does have quite a bit more morale than I do, which I'm guessing is the fact that he has probably has no verminkin. That is at least my suspicion, and also because I'm running two halberds there, that obviously slows me down quite a bit. But we will manage. We will manage. Right, we can't quite make it into these houses. And I don't really want to risk that right now, so I'm just gonna pull back a bit. I'm just myself like this. Let's see, if he moves forward with his leader, we might be able to catch him. Now the question is, what is he trying to do? Is he gonna try and move through these houses to get rid of my final? Because I do have two ranged units. He probably only has one, unless he runs multiple, uh, multiple um, night runners, which might be a thing. I don't think he has a vermin Otherwise, there would be not this blob of five slow units that are all about the same. I'm guessing those are warp guards. That's my suspicion. Oh 
Wait, the initiative is a bit of a mess this round. <laughs> Both base game is always a bit eh. Usually I manage to get mine into a row that moves quite nicely. Like have my fast units at the start and then have my slow units at the back. It's always fun time he walks in. Alright. So we shall actually okay, again this is oh yeah, this is this shit. I can't actually go around there. Which is rather annoying, but I can get up here this time. I actually have some high ground. Would again, I would love to have a global idea here because I'm thinking he's going going around me, he's trying to flank me from this side. So I should get my heavies over there. But my Leah's already positioned here, so if he tries to flank or flank me, I will see him coming. I should use my Nitro Hunt's turn to try and scout a bit and see where he's at. Maybe I can get some shots off as well. That would be nice, and nice indeed. Nitron is getting somewhat tough. He's gonna have tough. I'm gonna get him all the model toughness, obviously, to get uh, exhaustion and all that kind of stuff. All the good stuff. Let's see where that's, this goes with us. Alright. Alright, let's just put him out of line of sight. I don't want to see my units if necessary possible. Unless he wants to see my heavies, which I'm fine with, because my heavies can take a few shurikens to the face. That's not really an issue. I'm place my heavy here to protect my my night runner. Yeah, now his heavies move up. Question is, if he's gonna push straight through, or is he gonna try and move around to avoid my fire? I'm guessing he's gonna do this, which I would be fine with honestly, because I can block him in here. With my heavies, who can take quite the bounding and are quite strong in their own rights. They will actually be able to beat a hero at this point, because, well, this game will have to have trouble, especially the, his leader. He won't really do much with a dagger against one of my heavier warp guards, especially against someone like Carrion, who's already like at almost 200 wounds, has heavy armor, heavy armor proficiency, a shield, and a blue mace, so he's gonna be a pain in the ass to take down. Alright, so he's moving that direction actually, he's, split, he's splitting up. Interesting. I uh, should actually grab the idol with one of my warp guards. Yeah, what can actually, yeah, what should grab the idol? So the extra movement. And then I can also make a push for his wagon if I want to. Probably not a bad idea. Again, if you ask yourself why I'm constantly trying to do this, this custom play escape me. I do have the mobility advantage, so I might as well use it. And I doubt that he grabbed his idol. Would be. I don't think he did. People forget about that all the time, so I might as well check. Alright, where's that? Where's the black scape? Where is it? Alright, he's moving over there. That is fine. I might be able to get some shots off with my night runner from up here if I get into position. That would be nice. 
move my heavies around this area and protect this and see if I can get my shots off with my night runner. Probably a good idea. He's standing inside of a... No, it's not a breach sadly, so I can't quite see him. Maybe if I can get a shot off from up above when he moves through the gates or something like that. That would be nice. Uh, my weapon can probably move up as well. Get them up here on the high grounds and see if I can snatch some shots on them. Yeah, let's that that ward grab the idol. I said grab the idol. Just for this additional movement range. And put them in here for now. This is obviously a risk, but I like the extra combat stats. It gives, so I'm gonna take it. I really need to get on Web of Steel on all my warp guards. I should have gotten that a while ago, but I didn't have the money for it, sadly. But I'm going to have it soon, so I'm gonna get it. This is very useful. So he's moving up to the center, which is fair enough. If he gets any closer, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get shots off with my, war my Night Runner. Which would be very nice indeed. I wonder how much he can see. Probably most of my dudes. He's falling back, yeah, as expected. Not too far though. He's scouting, I guess. Well, I don't think I have the range for this, but maybe. I wish I had blue shurikens. Blue or epic shurikens would be amazing at this point, but I didn't get any yet. Which is rather infuriating. But we will manage. We will manage indeed. Uh, can I possibly even go this way? Yes, there is actually a way over there. I will guard it with my walk guard. Don't want him to outflank me. Right, and then we have scabbies. Move up here, buddy. Got my sights. A new round has started. Right, where's this leader? I haven't seen him. Apparently he's, apparently he's trying to flank around. If he does, I'm probably going to get ambush with my leader off, which would be nice. I'm guessing his warp cards are full full leadership and don't have intelligence because he doesn't have, is not going for that got talent. That would explain why he has so much more leadership than I do. Morale, rather. But we will find out soon enough. That's, yeah, that's quite a lot of wounds already on these dudes. Wait, what? Uh, game? Alright then, um, fuck me, I guess? I cannot go up these stairs. Well then, um, change of plan, I guess. The fuck is this shit? Why? Right, my entire strategy just got out the w flew out the window. That's great. I like when that happens. Always fun. Um, well then, you're gonna have to pull back then, because that is an annoying bug, a very annoying bug indeed. Can I have a little look around over here? Maybe I can sneak, sneak. I can't see anyone here, which is good. So I might try and sneak around over there at some point.
Do I even ambush here? Mm. Can I ambush like this? It should work. Block the doors in case he tries to move through there. And get my Vermincon up in here as well. Put some more poison on. And go into an overwatch stance. See what he does. See if he tries to move in. And if he can outfight me, that's always the main question, obviously. Alright, so he's set up on this thing with this night runner, which is annoying because I cannot get up these stairs for some reason, which is rather infuriating. But I don't really manage, it's more time. I manage. That stairs probably mutated by chaos or something. Also, I can't see it, but that's uh, almost that ever. I'm using this for more time. Stuff that makes no sense. I will see him. Yeah, that's oh, that's a snide runner. Mm. I could catch that at the end of the turn. Oh, there he is with pistols, actually. Don't tell me he can shoot me from. He can shoot my leader from there. Of course he can. And he can even run away. And climbing somewhere as well? That's a lot of strategy points still. Put him here. Block this off. That's the Black Skaven, which is the one I'm worried about. Because he's going to be the heavy hitter. But I shall survive. I am actually going to put you into a parry stance here, defensively. I still have my dudes over there. I can't try and engage them, but then I can just pull back and surround him. Hmm. 
Oops, I can't open my map now because why would I? I can potentially shoot that guy. I should be able to shoot that guy actually, yeah, with my um, night run. If I just jump down and move up. <laughs> there goes a lot of his movement. He's actually getting pretty close now. Yeah, interesting. This is gonna the fighting's gonna start soon. These guys over there, I'm most definitely getting shots on him. That's a heavy. I think the other one is not in heavy armor, though. That's a lot of movement. Alright, so. Does he have heavy armor? I can't quite tell. Yeah, Global DS here would be, uh, they would be really good, but they would be really freaking annoying play around for both of us. So I am pretty happy as well that we don't have any Global DS running around here. Right, you got my flank. A new round has started. Uh, you make your way down. Uh, ooh, Gift of Savagery, nice. Yes, 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 right. I can definitely get shots off here. All of my shots? Probably. Yeah. Of course I miss. So why wouldn't I? Alright. Fall back behind the tank line. <laughs> If he gets too close, I'm gonna get an overwatch shot on him. <laughs> it's this night runner that I'm worried about, if I'm entirely honest, because that guy's gonna get a pistol shot off. Which is going to be annoying. Mm. So let's move my leader out of the way and let him guard these two doors. Let's see if we can't throw up anyone here. And let's move him a bit closer. Let's see if we can't get an overwatch shot over here. Here comes this night runner, he's probably gonna shoot me. I need to reposition some of my guys to guard this entrance. I 
The initiative is in his favor. He gets to do a big blob of five units in a row while mine all split. Which isn't that great. He's probably gonna engage me on these five units. Wouldn't be a bad idea from him. Uh, of course that doesn't. It's actually climbing back up. Did you did he misclick that? Does he actually have enough movement to get back down as well? That is actually really annoying. Well, I cannot engage him now. I literally cannot. If I do, I am going to get surrounded and murdered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ambush like this and block off the doors. Okay, carry instance there right here. There's no way, I was about to say, there's no way I don't get no watch there. Oh my god, come on. If he gets that charge, I'm gonna be annoyed. He's hiding in there, is he? Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna shoot this guy <laughs> with my night runner next turn. Definitely gonna shoot this guy. If he doesn't. Alright, he moves back again, I guess. All right. Fair enough. I'm probably still gonna shoot him. A lot. Yeah, he's in and that's not the best position. I can I can I can murder him there. Uh I might actually move into him with my warp guards. I might do that. With my last two warp guards, if he does not guard him with more dudes. He's, he's climbing. Alright. I wrote a hundred. Why is that supposed to be with balls? You literally bucked out. That's the only reason why I'm not engaged right now. Because you bucked out. Alright, that's one warp got tied up though. Alright, so he, is, he has two black scale. That is why. What? No, he can't. It can't be two black scale. What? Wait, what? Who's down there then? Warp card? Alright. I don't know why you would go up there, but... It is certainly an option.
This is a maneuver fight now. <laughs> None of us really wants to run to the other's ambushes. Or overreach and get surrounded and murdered, so... You know, those... Those stairs don't work, my friend. I tried. Are you sure you want to engage me here? There's no way you outrange me. Should be about the same range. If there's no way. Oh, that was that should have been in range. That should have been in range. Is he still trying to climb to the buildings? I don't know why he's doing that. No, he can't. This doesn't work. The stairs are broken. We're running out of time, my friend. As planned, draw you in. Of course, I miss my attack because why wouldn't I? He's gonna hit his counter attack as well. Just watch. Yeah, of course he is. Why wouldn't he? The amount of ninety percent hits I've already missed this mission are fucking stupid. <laughs> Can I just say that? It's getting a bit ridiculous. You can't move in there. No, you can't. You can't move in there, but you're gonna get ambushed if you do. There's no way. There's a war between you. Oh, really? You can do that, though. Which is rather annoying. Oh, come on, ambush! <laughs> yes. That's bullshit. I was ambushing that door. That was bullshit. There was no way. I lost vision of him when I was standing right in front of it. There is no freaking way. That is how that is not not how that is supposed to work. Alright, charge him again. He's gonna regret that. Let me swap weapons and disengage. A new round has started. Yeah, I was at an ambush there. He was standing inside my ambush. Moving around, moving out, back and out of it, and I did not get an ambush. So, yeah, push it. There we are. I can stab him now. This this is a good engagement for me. I get a counter attack here. Yeah, with my helmet. I even hit. You can't disengage from that. I'm guessing he's going for crit as well, but I have fighting claws, so I'm gonna win this. I'm gonna murder his leader. 
It's just a single dodge stance. I can, I can deal with him. Right, first up. Let's murder him. Now let's start putting stuff into the leader. And let's get our little map run into safety. I have swift charge so I can actually break his dodge. Of course he dodges anyways. So why wouldn't he? Of course I'm... <laughs> Come on game. Stop screwing with me. Like seriously, stop fucking screwing with me. Uh, I can aim. I'm gonna focus everything I have on this leader now. Like no mercy, I'm gonna focus him with everything I got. I blocked his climbing points. You can still walk into the house and shoot me, but that's not really important target right now for him. I already killed one of his warp guards, which costed him 19. Oh, he has this position now. Alright. Fair enough. I doubt he can shoot twice from there, but maybe he can. At least he's missing as well. This is good. Now he has to move in. Alright, that's fine. Is this going to jump down again? Is he he's engaging me? Alright. This is so buggy. <laughs> this is so freaking buggy, holy shit. I don't think you're engaged. Again, I don't think you're engaged now. But the amount of misses I've already had this mission are bullshit. Can I just say that? I call, I'm calling this bullshit. I don't think I can engage him with more rats, but I can probably kill him with my leader soon enough. Of course, I am stuck engaged with him, but he's not stuck engaged with me. Beautiful. I ain't gonna crit. That is actually pretty nice. I will abuse that to disengage. And to block off this door and surround this guy. That climbing point is not blocked, so he has to walk a long way around me if he wants to engage me. The door is now blocked. That climbing point is also blocked. So yeah, he basically has to walk around and attack my warp guard. I'm fine with because he can't kill him this turn. Although those are two good hits. Alright, who's carrying my idol again? Water's my idol, right? So he hasn't been engaged even yet. No, Water's fighting this guy. Alright, that's fine. Cross dodges. Because why wouldn't he? Feeling fairly confident in this fight because I have a blue weapon. From the damage he did to me, I don't think he does. 
so I'm feeling fairly confident I can win this. Unless he manages to surround him, which I don't think he will. I can almost kill his leader very soon. Which is great. But he can probably kill off Scaris here. Um, can, yeah, you think you can kill him. Which is fair enough. I just need to make sure I kill his leader next turn. Right. Unless he misses a second attack, which he might. No, he didn't. Of course he doesn't. Of course he hits both of these hits. From all those attacks that I missed earlier, he of course hits all of them. I could have already killed his leader. A parry though, which is nice. So I'm gonna win this fight. Of course he hits, but yeah, he's doing like five to six damage less than I do per hit. So I'm definitely gonna win this if this stays a 1v1, unless I'm really unlucky. Uh, do I engage him or do I focus? I focus on this guy because my hit chance is much better. Focus on the low level guy and kill him off as soon as possible. A new round has started. Alright, let's see if we cannot finish their leader off with ranged fire. That would be amazing. If I didn't have to waste any offensive points on my melee characters, then it'd be great. One more hit. Come on, Bjorn Rat, you can do this. Yes! Great shots, great job. Good rat, good rat. Alright then. Time to murder. See if I can finish him off as well. I can. Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. Alright, now where do I go from here? Do I engage this guy or do I just... I think I just sidestep here. Try to protect my leader for more damage. Alright, let's put on some war poison. And that's more poison for you. There goes all of your goddamn offensive points. And let's see if we can't get to him on another roll. There go all your offensive points. And then we run away. So you can only shoot once now. Which is perfect. He's aiming. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with this. No, you can't shoot twice. You have raw poison on you. Since you stayed out in the open, I got you now. Alright. I cannot charge and attack, so I can only attack twice. On the walk on this guy, which I'm probably gonna do. Or I take two guaranteed hits on this guy. Which probably also isn't a bad idea. So I have to increase crit chance on him as well. So I might as well focus on him now and try to get him down while I still can. Of course he gets to hit, that's why wouldn't he? Only one though, since he has been sunk before. Alright, overall that's not looking too bad. I killed his leader. And I should only need a couple more kills. He's gonna try and finish my black scaling, is he? Or is he going for my ranged units? Which would also be a not bad idea. Yeah? I think he's going for my black scaling, yeah. Pretty certain he is. Mind your shots, business. Yes! Good job. That's good for me. Nope. Don't have time.
Of course I missed both attacks, which one why wouldn't I? Problem is now all of his other dudes get to move and he can probably engage my ranged units. But eh, that's not the end of the world right now. You can only get one of them, the other two ones are free to move. And I'm very certain I can actually win this fight in melee as well if I really want to. So far I only took one casualty, or he has taken three. So I think I'm doing pretty well here. Ward is currently get getting beaten, but that's not too bad, I can use that. I should probably actually move in and help him at this point. I think I can. Uh, not with Scabby still. Or should I? Uh, how much hit points? You have so many, it's not point in attacking you really. Um. Well, my leader can help out my warp, my Black Skaven. This is fine. So actually, yeah, I think I'm going to go and help out over here. Plus he parries. That's what I want to do. Let's focus on this high level guy now. Do they need help? I don't think they do. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna completely utterly surround him. Of course I miss my charge. <laughs> I miss so many attacks already, I've been so unlucky. Basically, what him lost him this match is overextending his leader for the most part. Uh, do I fight or do I run? I think I fight. I don't have war poison, that's fine. So fighting class, so useful, so a hero, so he's strong in melee. All right, let's let's swift charge this. Swift charge this up. Ninety-five percent miss again. I am so mad right now. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm so fucking mad right now. This is not fair. Come on, st this is not okay. You can't do this to me, man. You can't do this to me. Like, can I can I squeeze through here? I can. Beautiful. All right, and I am going to take another shot at him. The black scale is what you but was holding him together right now, so I'm gonna, just gonna focus everything I have on him. But I hit, hit these shots now, which is interesting. Still a night runner running around, but I don't think he's gonna do that much here. He's, he has no good targets to shoot at. There's no way you can shoot down there. There's no fucking way you can. I'm gonna focus my black scale and try to kill him off, I'm assuming. So I don't think he but the, I don't think he can with just two shots. Can't hit my Leo though. Which could be my death sentence if he gets to my dodges, which knowing my luck he probably will. Of course he will hit both shots. Yeah, of course he is. <sighs> can he kill my black scaven? I don't think he can. No, there's no way he can kill my black scaven. There's no way. And his black scamper can potentially kill both of my dudes if he gets through my sidestep, which I just hope he won't. Uh, yeah, focus on the black scamper. Oh, come on! Come the fuck on! This is so fucking bullshit! Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm not killing anyone. I could have gotten a kill there, but of course I missed my 78% chance. Again. Right, now he can kill my leader if he gets to my sidestep, which he probably like knowing my luck he will get through my sidestep. Yeah, of course he does. Of course he gets through my sidestep. Why wouldn't he go through my sidestep? 
Obviously he does. Oh, these two misses that attack. Well, those other warp cards are all engaged, so they won't do much. I can still win this. Pretty easily. I just have to kill that last warp guard. Hopefully not miss all of my attacks, and I have to kill that black scaven. Which I'm fairly confident I can do. I literally have just have to hit have to hit like one attack on him. Obviously. I don't even think I can kill this guy. No, I can't. Right. And he passes all alone because why wouldn't he pass this all alone? Oh my god. And he gets to my parry. And I can't even disengage. Yeah, there's no way I kill this guy now. Maybe next turn. No, not anymore. I missed too many attacks again. Like. I missed how many attacks now? <laughs> In a row on targets that I should not have missed. Can't even disengage from this, so my Vermin will have to try and kill him. Come on, Vermin I believe in you. One more hit. I have another aim. 83. Come on. Yes! Die! There he goes. Problem is now he's gonna kill my Black Skaven. He's still gonna hit both shots. Uh, this is bullshit, by the way. <laughs> He's gonna hit both shots. Just, just watch. He's gonna hit both of them. Oh god, he missed. This is lucky. Now the question is, can I kill off his fucking other dude? Can I kill him off? Can I kill off his warp guard? I have two attacks. If I hit, I can kill him. No, he parries. Obviously he parries. For oh, fuck's sake, I'm gonna, he's gonna die. That's <laughs> two attacks and no way I survive. Oh, I miss. Maybe a dodge, maybe a dodge, maybe a dodge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. I'm not in my morale strong point yet. Yeah. I'm engaged now on all fronts, which is bad. I was now faster than all three of mine as well. <laughs> 1v3 and he keeps hitting attacks and he keeps passing morale checks. At least I'm hitting him now. If I hit all of my attacks I can maybe- Of course I missed another 80% roll! For Christ's sake! Can I- Please stop missing! This is bullshit. Seriously, I'm... Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I'm gonna miss this. Yeah, and I can't kill him now. This is great. He 
gets another crit, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh so hard if he gets another one. Alright. Throw everything we have at him now. It's gonna be all or nothing. Come on. Five rules. Fuck. Not enough damage. A new round has started. Look at this guy. He has like 20 wounds left. I don't have a choice. I have to engage him. <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead, I can't kill him! You are my only hope now. And I have to aim. I can't aim. Oh, I can't even fucking get an aim shot here. Can I? Please. Hornet rat, please. Please, Hornet rat, please. Of course not. I should 100% have won this match. This was my match too. Yeah, I, sh I should have won. This was won. This was match was done and over and then I missed 395% hits. Oh, he missed. I might have a chance here? I don't know who's the next one to move. No, he is. I'm dead. I don't have a hero. I'm gonna fail my test. This was a bullshit. Absolute and utter bullshit. I did everything right and there was nothing I could do. I can't fail my test because I don't have a hero, so I'm gonna run out now. Yeah. I won, but no. Listen, follow Filch and Warband. Not need scurry hide. Not leave both things. Take steel word stone. Anyways, this was frustrating. Extremely frustrating. I that's the very moments I absolutely hate this game, and this is one of them. I should have won this by any account, and nope. 95% miss after 95% miss after 95% miss after 95% miss, and he gets all of his hits with like 16%, he gets the 10% parry, gets the 1% crits multiple times, and well, and the bucks there and all that. So yeah, uh, before I get any more mad, I'm just gonna end the video. So thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.